Hey guys, Mr. T here. This is another video. This one is on the idea of FOIL, or in other words, known as the product A plus B in brackets times by C plus D in bracket. So when you're multiplying two terms in a set of brackets by another set of two terms in brackets, for example, A plus B in brackets times by C plus D in brackets, the expansion occurs by multiplying the first terms in each set of brackets, the outer terms of both sets, the inner terms of both sets, and the last terms in each of the set of brackets, and then adding those results together. So visually, you can see this if I was to write that question out again, the two sets of terms in brackets, the A is first in the first bracket, the C is first in the second bracket, B is second in the first bracket, D is second in the second bracket, and then if you look at the brackets overall, B and C are inner, and A and D are outer. So a shortcut to expanding that is that it is the first terms in each set of brackets multiplied together, so it is A times by C, it is the outer terms of both sets of brackets, so the outers were A and D, so A times by D. Add the inners, which were B and C, so B, C. And lastly, the lasts, and the last term in each of the two brackets were B and D, so B times by D. So that is a shortcut to get the answer straight away. And just remember, even though these are all additions, you are adding the answer to the multiplication, so they may well change to negatives, they may well change to take signs if you've multiplied neg uh, a negative with a positive, okay? So you can memorize this expansion using the word FOIL, which stands for first, outers, inners, and last. So let's see how this works real quick with some examples. So x take 2 in a set of brackets multiplied by x take 10 in a set of brackets. So let's remember FOIL. Firsts are x times by x. Outers are x times by negative 10. Add inners. It's negative 2 times by x. And lasts plus negative 2 times by negative 10. And we're going to put these multiplications in brackets so you don't get confused by the negative and positive signs right next to each other first. You need to do multiplications first, so that's why we've put them in brackets. So x times by x is x squared. x times by negative 10 is going to be negative 10x plus negative 2 times by x is going to be negative 2x, plus negative 2 times by negative 10 is going to be positive 20. So now we collect like terms, so x squared, there's no other x squareds there, so we leave it. Plus and minus becomes a minus 10x, plus and minus becomes a minus 2x, plus 20. We didn't collect like terms last step, so we'll do it now. Negative 10x's take 2x is going to be negative 12x's plus 20. Okay, so we did the firsts, x times by x, outers, negative 10 times by x, inners, negative 2 times by x, and lasts, negative 2 times by negative 10. So um, that's that. That's a basic example. Now let's try a more complicated one. So instead of doing every step, I'm going to skip the first one and just say the answers. And this is probably what you should try to get to instead. So we're going to do the firsts. Firsts are x squared times by 9. So it's going to be 9x squared plus outers, x squared times by negative 5x, so that's going to be negative 5x cubed, because x times by x squared is going to be x cubed. Outers, inners, uh, positive 8 and 9, so plus 8 times by 9 is um, 72. And lasts, plus 8 times by negative 5x is going to be negative 40 x. So 9x squared plus and minus becomes minus 5x cubed 
plus 72, take 40x, collect like terms. There's no like terms here, but um, formally we should put it in order of the exponents, so negative 5x cubed, positive 9x squared, negative 40x, positive 72, so that's more properly written. Alright, so that is a more complicated application of FOIL, but the theories are all the same. Just be careful of your negative numbers, and I'll see you in the next video.